Alfred Nobel, the man behind the Nobel Prize. Since 1901, the Nobel Prize has been honoring men and women from all corners of the globe for outstanding achievements in physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, for work in peace and economy. The foundation for the prize was laid in 1895 when Alfred Nobel wrote his last will, leaving much of his wealth to the establishment of the Nobel Prize. This is CIET NCERT effort to give a glimpse of a man whose varied interests are reflected in the prize he established. Meet Alfred Nobel, scientist, inventor, entrepreneur, author and pacifist and much more about his life and networks through the exhibition. Alfred Nobel Network of Innovation held at National Science Center, New Delhi. On October 21, 1833, a baby boy was born to a family in Stockholm, Sweden. His father was Emanuel Nobel and his mother was Andretta Elsel Nobel. Alfred Nobel was a Swedish chemist, engineer, innovator, and armaments manufacturer. Nobel also owned Bofors, which he had redirected from its previous role as primarily an iron and steel producer to a major manufacturer of cannon and other armaments. Nobel held 355 different patents, dynamite being the most famous. In his last will, he used his enormous fortune to institute the Nobel Prize. The synthetic element, Nobelium, was named after him. The Nobel Museum's traveling exhibition, Alfred Nobel Networks of Innovation, is on a world tour and opened at National Science Center, New Delhi, on December 3, 2010. The exhibition presents the innovator and entrepreneur Alfred Nobel, who lived in Paris for 20 years and built up his industrial empire from there. It is a state-of-the-art exhibition that has been created in cooperation with artists and filmmakers by using the latest technology developed in collaboration with Samsung Electronics. Since it started in 2001, the Nobel Museum's global traveling exhibitions has been seen by more than 2 million visitors in 15 cities all over the world. The Nobel Museum's global traveling exhibition presents the entrepreneur and innovator Alfred Nobel. The visitor will learn more about his life his network of co-workers, business contacts and friends and finally how he gets the idea to donate money for an international prize. Through video artworks and newly recorded short films, the visitor gets to know Alfred Nobel in a new way and also to meet some Nobel laureates and members of the Nobel committees on a number of small monitors. It is an elaborate and highly interactive display which has made use of audiovisuals and technology to communicate the importance of innovations. This is the largest exhibit ever to be displayed at the National Science Center. The exhibition is built in five pavilions with different headlines. Each one of the pavilions deals with the part of the story about Alfred Nobel. They are the cities, St. Petersburg and Paris, where Nobel lived most of his life. Innovations that characterized his lifetime achievement. Networks which made his large business empire possible and the last will, the foundation for the Nobel Prize. On November 27, 1895, Alfred Nobel signed his last will in Paris. When it was opened and read after his death, the will caused a lot of controversy both in Sweden and internationally, as Nobel had left much of his wealth for the establishment of a prize. 
His family opposed the establishment of the Nobel Prize and the prize awarders he named refused to do what he had requested in his will. It was five years before the first Nobel Prize could be awarded in 1901. Alfred Nobel Networks of Innovation is innovative just as Alfred Nobel himself. In total, there is no less than 160 monitors in the exhibition. From one single computer, it is possible to design, synchronize, schedule and publish information on the thin client in each monitor. An example of the advantages with this flexible solution is that Text could easily be changed to another language when the exhibition arrives in a new country. Alfred Nobel is one of the most compelling individuals in the history. His invention of dynamite revolutionized the domains of both construction and destruction. Worried that the legacy of destruction would be his only one, he implemented the Nobel Prize. Vad min kropp blir krimerad. Ja, jag har till och med skrivit in i testamentet. We remember Alfred Nobel as the man behind the Nobel Prize, not as the merchant of death. The prizes retain their luster to this day, over 100 years since their creation. <laughs>